In this presentation, we will see about various key terms in cryptography. Let's dive into the outcomes first. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to Outcome number 1. Understand various key terms related to cryptography. Before stepping into various key terms, let's revisit what is cryptography. We have already seen cryptography is the art or science or method that converts the plain text into ciphertext and ciphertext back to plain text. Say if we have a plain text, this plain text is given as an input to an encryption algorithm and this encryption algorithm will convert this plain text into ciphertext. The ciphertext can be sent on the internet or any other communication channel because no one can understand what is the meaning of the ciphertext, what encryption algorithm was used to generate the ciphertext and the main aspect is what is the key used to generate the ciphertext. No one can understand except the sender and the receiver. So we can send the ciphertext on the internet as well. Now when the receiver receives the ciphertext, he will be giving that to the decryption algorithm and this decryption algorithm is the reverse of the encryption algorithm that it was created and the output of the decryption algorithm will be the plain text back. Now in this whole process we need keys and the keys are used both by the encryption algorithm and the decryption algorithm and based on the keys we have two types of cryptography. Number one, symmetric cryptography, which is also called as private key cryptography. And number two, the asymmetric cryptography, which is also called as public key cryptography. Before we step into the various key terms, let's also revisit the types of cryptography in brief. In symmetric cryptography, we have same key, which is used by both sender and the receiver. In other words, same key is used by both encryption and decryption algorithm. Since same key is used by both encryption and decryption, this key will be kept secret and this key will be a private key. Since private key only is used by both encryption and decryption algorithms or sender and the receiver, we call this cryptographic method as private key cryptography. And coming to the asymmetric cryptography, we know in asymmetric cryptography, we have two different keys used. Say for encryption, one key is used and for decryption, another key is used. And the keys are public key and private keys. In this cryptographic technique, the sender will be having two keys. The sender's public key and the sender's private key. Similarly, receiver will also have two keys. One is receiver's public key and receiver's private key. The name itself says that public key can be known to anyone but private keys must be kept secret. So in the scenario, the sender's private key will be known only to one guy who is the sender and the private key of the receiver will be known only to the receiver, not by anyone else. As mentioned, sender will have two keys. One is sender's public key and sender's private key. Sender's public key can be known by anyone, he can disseminate the keys to any source, he can place the key on his website or he can place it in a separate medium or in a separate server, can be a key distribution server, don't get confused, just ignore the terms if it is new, just understand the central idea behind what I am saying. So sender's public key can be public, it can be known to anyone, but sender's private key will be known only to the sender. Now how this encryption will be done? Say if sender wants to send some message to the receiver, first receiver's public key should be known to the sender. Once the receiver's public key is known to the sender, sender does encryption using receiver's public key. Now this yellow color key is the receiver's public key and this blue color key is the receiver's private key. Say if sender wants to send some message to the receiver, this public key cryptography or asymmetric cryptography always start with the receiver. It means receiver must create his own pair of keys, one is his public key and the other one is his private key. When sender wants to send any message, first the receiver's public key should be known to the sender. Now what the sender is going to do, he can download the key from the website of the receiver or he can ask the receiver to send his public key over email or the destination or receiver's public key is given by the certificate authority which is the third party here. Let's imagine somehow the sender is having the receiver's public key. Now in this example, sender before initiating the transaction or communication, he must have receiver's public key. Let's assume receiver's public key is already available with sender. Now what sender does? He creates the plain text which should be a confidential message, only receiver should understand. So after creating the message, he gives this to the encryption algorithm. Now what this encryption algorithm is going to do? This encryption algorithm is going to use receiver's public key. As mentioned, this is the public key of the receiver. This is the private key of the receiver. So receiver's public key is used for encryption. 
Now receiver's public key and the plain text is given as an input to the encryption algorithm. Now this encryption algorithm will be generating the cipher text. Now this cipher text can be sent on the internet. When the receiver receives this cipher text, receiver has to use his private key in order to generate the plain text back. Since this plain text is encrypted using receiver's public key, it can be decrypted only with receiver's private key. So if it is encrypted with a public key, it can be decrypted only with the private key of the corresponding person who has created the key. So in this case, receiver's public key was used to encrypt, so receiver's private key can be used to decrypt. So this is about asymmetric cryptography. We can understand that different keys are used for both encryption and decryption. So this is asymmetric cryptography. Let's now see the various key terms. Cryptography, plain text, cipher text, cipher which is also called as an encryption algorithm, key, cryptanalysis and cryptology. Let's see one by one in detail. So the first key term is cryptography. Now this is going to contain a suite of methods or algorithms that's going to convert plain text to cipher text and cipher text back to plain text. We have already discussed this in the previous lecture. And coming to the second key term which is the plain text, this is actually the message the sender wants to send. The message can be a simple text or image or animation or audio or video or just text or numbers. Even in WhatsApp, WhatsApp does end-to-end -end encryption. So whatever is the WhatsApp message the user or the sender is sending, that will be encrypted and that message will be sent to the WhatsApp server. And when the receiver receives the message, it will be decrypted by the receiver. Actually, the WhatsApp application does both encryption and decryption. As mentioned, the plain text can be anything. And what about this? The converted plain text or the encrypted plain text is called as the cipher text. So an encryption algorithm will convert the plain text to the cipher text with the help of the keys. This cipher text is an unintelligible message. No one can understand. It is a scrambled message. And coming to the next key term which is the cipher which is also called as an encryption algorithm. This encryption algorithm only is going to convert the plain text into cipher text by taking key as an input. Cipher is a very important thing and generally these ciphers or encryption algorithm can be public. Anyone can know what is the encryption algorithm is used to generate the cipher text but key is the most critical information. Let's now see the next key term, the key. As mentioned, key is the most vital and critical information as far as security is concerned because if one plain text cipher text pair is known by the attacker, it's not going to hurt the communication or lot because just that plain text cipher text pair only is known to the attacker. But if the key is known, everything is known because the attacker can break using the key. The entire communication goes chaotic and it is not confidential anymore once the key is revealed. So key is the most important information that should be kept secret. So based on the number of keys, we have symmetric cryptography and asymmetric cryptography. We have addressed that just now. And coming to the next key term which is cryptanalysis. Cryptanalysis is also called as code breaking. Let's assume attacker does not know what is the encryption algorithm that is used to generate the cipher text. And obviously attacker will have no chance for knowing the key. At least encryption algorithm he might be knowing to some extent. But let's assume attacker does not have any chance for knowing the key. But still attacker will be trying to know what is the plain text by breaking this cipher text or decoding this cipher text. Whatever action the attacker is going to do with the cipher text is no more a legitimate activity. It is a code breaking activity because he does not know the key. So his intention or attacker's intention will be knowing the key more than knowing the cipher text because he knows the plain text only for the cipher text that he has received. If he knows the key then obviously he can know the entire conversation or entire communication. So attacker's intention will be mainly finding the key. So this is about cryptanalysis which is a bad activity. This is done by attacker. And let's now move on to the last key term which is cryptology. Cryptology is the combination of cryptography and cryptanalysis. So how to convert the plain text into cipher text and cipher text back to plain text? This is cryptography. Cryptanalysis is a malicious activity that is done by the attacker. So cryptology deals with both cryptography and cryptanalysis. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood the various key terms related to cryptography. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lecture and thank you for watching.